We have become somewhat satisfied and chill as a nation since the midterms in 2018. We believe that the House of Representatives will save us or protect us from the man in the White House. But with a Republican Senate and an orbit of people surrounding President Donald Trump who only tell him what he wants to hear, we continued to be in a difficult spot. This weekend's events and this week's news are disturbing on many levels. Late last week, Trump withdrew his own nominee to head ICE, citing a desire to pick someone who would take the agency in a tougher direction. On Sunday, the Secretary for the Department of Homeland Security, Kirstja Nielsen, resigned after meeting with Trump. Reports are emerging that Trump was not happy with Nielsen and her failure to keep immigrants out, with reports that Trump called her at all hours of the day and night with his frustrations and demands that she conduct herself bordering on, if not, the illegal. On Monday, the head of the Secret Service, Randolph Owls, either resigned or was fired. He stated on Monday, No doubt you have seen media reports regarding my firing. I assure you that this is not the case and in fact, was told weeks ago by the administration that transitions in leadership should be expected across the Department of Homeland Security. The president has directed an orderly transition in leadership for this agency and I intend to abide by that direction. Then he ominously added, it is my sincere regret that I was not able to address the workforce prior to this announcement. Trump advised border patrol agents to tell judges that we are full and cannot take any more migrants. This is a lie and would have people lying to the courts. Reportedly behind these maneuvers is Stephen Miller. These developments should cause Americans of all political persuasions deep concerns. The unchecked man in the White House is getting more strident in his approach to immigration and other subject matters. This does not bode well for the future of this nation and one wonders if any of the GOP will step up and speak up. But don't count on it, they are complicit, and we must all speak up or face the future nation of harshness.